Hello and welcome to Art This Week. We are looking at the French artist Niki de Saint-Fal. Now she is known around the world for her beautiful and colourful bright artworks. She not only draws but she does sculpture as well. And a lot of them are very large and sitting within the landscape. So that means they're sitting out in the environment. They're always super colourful and there's some incredible creatures. This is the artwork we're looking at. It's called Sun God from 1983. I want you to look at the colours and the shape of the creature. We are going to be using this as inspiration as our own artwork. So what you'll need is you'll need a marker and some paper as well as some colours. So I'm going to start and you can follow along as I go. So I'm doing a curve and this is my creature's head. It's got a little point for the beak. I want you to go ahead and add in the eye as well. So this is my sun creature. Now I'm going to add in the neck. So that's just drawing a little line coming down from the neck. Now before I go on to any of the wings of my sun creature, I'm going to go ahead and make that crown. So it doesn't matter if they're wavy lines, straight lines, it doesn't matter, as long as it's going around the beak and the head. We'll colour that one in later. So I want you to put your pen on where your neck ends and I want you to draw a big wing, almost like a butterfly's wing, a big arm. Okay, we're going to do it on the other side as well. So again, finding that neck mark and you can use a bit of a wonky line, the weirder the better for this artwork. So I've got my two lovely wings. From here, my pen is going to go back to the bottom of a wing and I'm going to make the torso. So that means the body, the tummy. Then I'm going to extend it down and I'm making my legs. Okay? Now I want them to be hollow. So that means that we can colour them in later. I want you to add some big claws now. Doesn't matter what your sun creature looks like. It can look completely different to mine. This is the beauty of Nikki's artwork. We can make them a little bit weird. This is your creature. Now the fun part. I've got equal wings here, now I need to fill them in. So I'm going to make those claws almost like shoes. And now I'm going to fill in the wings and the torso with lots of lines. So I'm just breaking it up so I can colour it in in lots of different colours. So it doesn't matter what you're doing here as long as we can fill it in with colour later. So I've got some circles, some wiggly lines. You might even like to add in some symbols. So I've got a love heart. Maybe you'll put in a star, a swirl. Just divide it, so break it up into different parts. Then we can colour in with lots of rainbow colours. On the body, I might pretend that maybe my creature has some long socks on. Anything goes for this artwork. And now I'm going to use a wiggly line and I'm going to do a bit of a loop to loop. And this is going to mean that I have lots of different areas to colour in. It's going to be very fun when I'm colouring this part. I'm really happy with my creature now, my sun god, my sun creature. Now it's the best part of the artwork. It's time to add colour. Now you can use watercolour, you can use markers or you could use crayons, pencils, whatever you like. I'm going to use textures because they're easy to colour with for this project and I've sped this one up so you don't have to wait this long but each part, each little part that you've drawn needs to be coloured in a different colour. Now I'm going to be seeing if you are colouring within the lines for this activity. I want to make sure that you are. And try and colour in one direction so it's nice and even. Adding my final colours in now. It's looking really good. Final colour here. And there you have it. My sun creature.